Hey, everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. Charles Beeson. Joel Norton. Today, we're listening to The Altar slash Mary by uh, Silverstein off their new album, uh, Misery Made Me. And so far, you've been really liking yeah. this album. Yes. You, I think you like this album better than me so far. Silverstein's killing it with this one. That's crazy. I love the mesh between the deeper vocals yeah. and the clean lyrics. Sure. Love the mesh. Yeah, and this, I think the one thing about this album so far that I'm not huge on, it's a much more electronic feel. Yep. Does okay. that make sense? Yep. I really enjoyed their last album. So, to me, I was like, this is kind of a step back. But at the same time, apparently, you're you're loving it. Yeah. So, they, you know what I mean? And you're not even really a hardcore fan. So, it's, right. that's just, they're doing the right thing. They're bringing in new people then, you know. It's, 100%. I like it. And I, it's hard for me, like... I either, I've enjoyed this album, if that makes sense, but yeah. not in like a oh my gosh, I'm pumped for it, like I was with uh, uh, the Wind Shifts. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the album name, but our the the last album, and I just love it, right? Yeah. And then this one's like it's good for you know it's it's average for Silverstein, but it's above average for any other music in my opinion. Yeah, Does that makes sense. That's because you're a huge Silverstein love guy. Him. Love them, but we're only halfway through this album so far, so maybe. Maybe I'll find a couple more that I really like. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, bud. You want me to send it? Absolutely. All right, guys. The altar slash Mary. I'm feeling ready. <laughs> <laughs> and did you so, catch that and perfect, still, perfectly placed fuck right at the beginning? Yeah, I did. It was wonderful. And Silverstein said, I got just what you needed. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, Um. honestly, the only disappointing part about this song so far is as soon as I got the lyrics up, the clean vocal started. Yeah, and which was also an interesting switch because it went very suddenly, like a very low, like kind of a... Uh, I don't know. I was expecting something to hit, something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, whoa, whoa. But it was so yeah. different and still good. It's, it, and he sounded good there. But I liked the guitar in the background for that. That's what made it for okay. me. And I was like, okay, this is cool. I like that guitar. That It kept it, I don't know. Kind of fresh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The whole song so far is just very unique because it started oh, yeah. with the scream. It's like backwards almost. Yeah. You know? Normally you get the clean vocals and then you get the... Yes, the screaming. Slap you in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Let's finish it out. Absolutely. Um, somebody has to die. <laughs>
this would be sweet with the flickering lights at a live show. Oh, God, yes. I've got a ways to go. Both ends of the candle burn the road. So talk to me, talk to me. I've got it bad. Forgot what I needed, lost what I had. That is such a unique song, like for them. For uh, you, that is so backwards too. That's what I'm saying. Normally, you get the hype at the end, but we got the calm at the end. Calm and work it work its way out. It was and, interesting and weirdly, it still worked for me. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Um, the beginning's the part I'm like, ah, I don't know what's happening, and then it calmed down, and the, it got weird there towards the end because. Like, right after he's saying, somebody has to die. Yeah. And then it, everything calmed, like, even more. Yeah. As far as vocals and everything. And it, it felt like there was four different styles thrown out there with Ye- the vocals. Yeah. The vocals were very... I almost... There was a few times I was like, is there somebody featured on this song? But the other songs that he, they have some featured, it obviously shows that. So right. I was like, he's just really swapping up the vocals on this one. Where are you going rating-wise for this one, bud? Rating wise, I think five point six. Interesting. I'm actually gonna go seven point five out of ten for me. Okay, okay. I really like this. Like you said, I like it, this is one though that could definitely go. I think it definitely goes in a playlist. A hundred percent here too. Yeah, it definitely goes in a playlist. Um, I really liked how it slowed down. Yeah, and how it played out, but I just. I want to hear it a few more times because, like, all the changes really messed with my mind for figuring out exactly what's what's going on here. Yeah. I think that's that's what brought it down a little bit for me, but that was it. Yeah. Um, man, I, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. It's just very unique, but it has that potential for sure to, on later listens, Oh yeah, either go way lower or, or way, way higher. higher. Yep. 100%. There's like a way bigger potential just because how unique the song is set up. Oh, yeah. But I'm definitely curious about it. I'm going to go 7.5. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No, that's it for this one. All righty, guys. Oh, we are yeah. two boys, one brain cell, Charles Beast and Joel Norton. You guys can vote for the brain cell down in the comments if you want to have a little bit of fun. And, uh, yeah, until next time, peace out. Peace.